What do you guys say? You ready to see some fights right now? Yeah. No, Skankfest. I said, are you ready to see some fucking fights tonight? Yeah. Let's get this started. Up first, we have an undercard match. Give her five tit for tat jokes. Introducing first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He looks like if someone stretched out Velma from Scooby-Doo, it's Drew Dravienko! How you doing tonight, Drew? Um, pleasure to be here, thanks for having me. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland. If Irish eyes are smiling, they must not have just smelled her pussy. It's Katie Boyle! How you feeling, Katie? Don't trust to leave your bag in the green room with all the comics back there? No. <laughs> you excited for this battle? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Five jokes, tit for tat. Either of you guys want to go first? Any preference? Uh, it's up to you. I'll go first. Okay, great. All right, Drew's going first, Katie's going second. Five jokes, tit for tat. This fight starts now. <laughs> Woo! All right. We gotta make this quick. Uh, Katie's being burned at the stake at midnight. <laughs> Katie, Katie is very progressive. For years, she's been trying to solve the racial tension between the whiteheads and blackheads on her face. Uh, thank you, Frankenstein's hipster. <laughs> Uh, Drew's family are originally from the Ukraine, so that explains why he looks like Clark Kent if he was from Chernobyl. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, top of the morning after pill. <laughs> Get out. Well okay. done. Katie's dad, Katie's dad is a cop who once shot and killed a cat right in front of her face. Crazy, right? Like, who calls black teenagers cats? Headshot. Uh, thank you, retarded Harry Potter. Well done. Drew suffers from panic attacks, which is weird, because so does every woman he stands behind. Kate, Katie's right, I do get really nervous, especially when I'm roasting a pretty girl. But tonight I feel fine. Um, <laughs> wow, 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 he's a very nice. Don't clap. <laughs> oh shit, it's my turn, okay. Um, okay, you big bang reject. Um, <laughs> Uh, his dad is a golf course groundskeeper. His mom likes it in every hole. All right. Thank you, girl on Tinder who's way too into horses. Uh, <laughs> Kate. Katie smoked a pack a day for 10 years. So thank God she never got pregnant because that baby would be so fucking ugly. Um, th thank you, you human tapeworm. Uh, uh, okay, do you guys know Napoleon Dynamite? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was only popular in Ireland. Anyway. He looks like Napoleon Dynamite, except for when he re wears a Vote for Pedro t-shirt, he means deportation. All right. Ooh. Thank you, Whore Leaf Clover. Um, <laughs> Katie loves watching murder TV, uh, which is what she calls her dad's body cam. Um, Drew told me he wants to be closer to his sister. He said that when he visits her house, she won't even let him inside her. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. One more time for both the battlers. 
First vote, Fight Club. Clap for the only person you think won this battle is the winner of this fight, Katie Boyle. Or is the winner of this fight, Drew Drevyanko? One vote for Drew Drevyanko. Let's go to our judges, Corinne Fisher. What do you think of that battle? Okay, well, I did take into account that the audience is kind of skewed uh, because, I mean, looking out into the crowd, I don't think anyone here has, like, slept with a pretty woman or traveled internationally. So, obviously, Katie is a little behind. Uh, but uh, the jokes were good. It was nice to see Lilith Fair as a person um, on stage. I did enjoy that nice opportunity, but I'm going to have to give it to Drew. Uh, he did have, like, the top of the morning pill was fucking amazing, so. That's two votes for Drew Drevyanko, Louis J. Gomez. Now, look, I'm always trying to vote for the man. <laughs> and I want to say, Drew, thank you very much. All you had to do was just tap it in for me, and uh, <laughs> you, you came out. You really just showed that you're just overall better. And uh, that's what Skankfest is all about, just <laughs> men being better than women. <laughs> Three votes for Drew Drevyanko. Kimberly Congdon. Ah, uh, that was a really fun battle. It was funny. I mean, you did really good, Drew. Uh, it was crazy that you kept calling her ugly, though. <laughs> it's like, because have you seen you? <laughs> um, but fortunately, you're funny. Um, and you fucking, Katie, you're always funny. You're always really good at roast battle. But your rebuttals were so good. Um, you look like your dick smells like a book, but... <laughs> But you win, unfortunately. That means Drew's got it, but we're gonna go to the rest of the judges. Eli Sayers, what do you think of this battle? I thought that was an awesome battle. Uh, I like you, Drew. You look like you bring up Bitcoin on dates. Uh, uh, Katie, I think you're a great writer, but I think tonight Drew just, just really brought the thunder, so I, I vote for Drew. Another one for Drew. Christina Hutchinson. Yeah, Drew, you had me at likes horses too much. <laughs> that was a great fucking joke. I hated that that was so good, but congratulations. Tony Hinch. I loved it. This was a good fair battle, and by fair, I mean science fair. What a couple <laughs> nerds, am I right, people? Jesus fucking Christ. Wow. It's true. New York doesn't try as hard as L.A. That's exciting to be here. I love to see good, authentic, ugly, normal people just going at it. Just mediocre as fuck. Uh, no, I love it. This was great. I loved. Uh, I love Kate. Not a lot of women have the balls to come out dressed like a Kleenex tissue box. Uh, but uh, Drew was dominant. I feel like Drew could have built a robot to roast her and beat her tonight. Uh, so very impressive, Drew. You giant fucking nerd. It'll never get better than this for you ever. <laughs> a clean sweep. Winner of this first fight, Drew Drevyanko. Oh, 